What's up guys, good morning. Welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button and let me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I appreciate everybody who drops comments and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy the videos. Parked in front of the first thrift store now, so let's go see what we can find this week. DC figures. Too bad DC stuff sucks and it doesn't sell. <laughs> I found this Stone Legacy Immortal before the Immortalis before the Blade Tee. 2XL for $1.99 on the old Gildan. I think it's a band tee, a metal band, if I'm correct. So I found this Montclair jacket, right? I think the style is like Alibert. Anyway, I think it's legit. It's got like the right tags and everything inside. They want $15 for that one size large, the size five, whatever that is. So yeah, if it's legit, I think it's like a $200 jacket. The goat of all anime, just sitting here on the shelf. The 1989, Black by Nature, Proud by Choice, the screen stars for $3.99, dated 1989 right there. And in this tee, I almost left. I didn't know it was a band tee. I'm glad I looked it up, but it's built to spill. Perfect from now on. They do want $5.99 for it, but I think it's an okay price. This one came fresh from the back and it's going right into my personal collection. <laughs> the Pro Player Bulls for $3.99. The five-time champion, 1997. I found the Michigan crew neck. They do want $9.99 for it, but it's brand new with tags, size 2XL. And then I also found the vintage Nike on the 90s tag. Dallas Cowboys mini swoosh tee, but I recently found the same exact tee in a 2X, so I know $6.99 is worth it. The Salt Lake, Utah wraparound crew neck, size large for $8.99. Anytime I see anything Utah, it reminds me of my cousin. <laughs> Him and his wife travel a lot. I forgot one time I said, what's there to see in Utah? And he went on a big rant about it. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should go to Utah and see what's out there. Carhartt Rain Defender. A 2XL for 12 bucks, 11.99. Kendrick Lamar seeing that Drake responded. The Disney Mickey Mouse Star Wars hat. I want five bucks for that one though. Decent little deal if you know. Found the CM Punk Nexus T. Unfortunately, it's a size small, but it's only 3.99. I had the black and yellow one, and I got rid of it. I kind of wish I would have held on to it. We got the MMA Elite T. Everybody's new favorites. For $3.99, size small again, unfortunately. These would have been pretty decent. Some piston sixes for $14, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. If it wasn't for that, I definitely would have grabbed them. I do have like some separation too, though. This just came out from the back. The 2003 Chicago Harley T. You got like the mobster. It's a little pocket tee. XL for $3.99. Got that Donkey Kong. And then they have this big Hello Kitty, but it's ripped in the neck. Or else I probably would have got that one. Here at Plato's again, that's not really much, but I did find this World Industries tee for seven bucks. Probably about like a $25 tee. And then I also found the Polo Custom Fit, and that one's eight bucks. Shoe-wise, it's the same old, same old. Some undefeated Air Forces, but other than that, same stuff. They do have some wheat, but not for 70. They got these two, but they want 50 on those. Found this one back here in the long sleeves. The Polo Rugby, the 2XL custom fit for 12. You got the Stussy and an XL for eight bucks. In the back, you got the 80. And then the Nike Elite Longhorns basketball jersey. I think it's DJ Augustine. That one's eight bucks as well. I'm getting so tired of seeing these fake champion Toon Squad jerseys. They're everywhere. We got a pair of vintage Umbro shorts. Size small, unfortunately, but like in that aqua colorway. Umbro on the back and the logo on the other side. I wish they were a bigger size, but for four bucks, can't complain. The Eminem for $4.99. Fred, just in case you didn't know his name. We got the Atlanta Hawks Authentic for 20 bucks, size 2XL. Abdur Rahim. Everything looks good on it to me. Jock tag. Does have a little mark right here. Not as desirable as once were, but for 20 bucks, still, I think it's worth grabbing. A couple years ago, though, these would have been big money. What the hell is Bokker Ball? Greatest anime of all time. Not gonna lie, I didn't even know what this was when I found it. I guess it's Harry Styles, which his stuff always does pretty good. It's $5.99 size XL. This store is weird. They'll price like the most basic of basic t-shirts for like $5.99, but then I just pulled this crew neck off the rack for $2.99. <laughs> the wraparound print bald eagle crew neck. Prints on the sleeves too, which I thought was pretty cool. I actually found a decent pair of on clouds. Usually when I find them, they're like super worn on the bottom. They're all ripped up. There's holes in them or something, but these are not bad. They're 20 bucks, size 12 and a half. 
found some orange tab Levi shorts in brown for $9.99. Here's the Adidas Kansas Jayhawks jersey, $4.99, size large. There's the jock tag, number 15, whoever that is. Animated or live action? Was the Turtles van always slammed? The Godzilla hand puppet. I don't know what's supposed to be in his mouth. From Godzilla 2000. I know, not everybody's favorite Godzilla movie. And they want $5.99 for that one. A pair of elephant print Jordan 1s in the red colorway for 17. I thought they were fake at first, but I forgot how trash the quality was on these. These things feel like cardboard, but that's just how they were. Then we got not one, not two, but six of these 2020 FC Dallas jerseys. All six of them are brand new with tags. They're $13 a piece. I got three larges and three three XLs. But for 13 bucks a piece, I think I can get about 40 for them. Then we got the Essentials tee, but I'm pretty sure this is fake. It seems like the real ones, the size tag is more this way. Also, the quality feels kind of poopy. The newer H Slipknot tee for $2.99. It's a newer one, but this stuff always sells. So that's gonna bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with another one. Later.